Oh, hey there everybody, thanks for checking out this video. Hopefully it ends up blowing you all away. Rival game in here! Alright, what's up everyone? Thanks for checking out this video. As you can see, I got some people around me. I don't know if these guys will end up watching the video, but they've been attempting this glitch with me. It's a pretty cool glitch in the lighthouse. I don't know if you guys have known about this one. Apparently the last glitch I showed you all, uh, it was done in another video, and I had no idea <laughs> about that one. And this one I'm going to be showing you guys. It's just something fun to go do if you're bored in the lighthouse, and wow, I'm really failing that jump. It's not normal. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to do this jump. Typically I do this one pretty easy, but it can be difficult. I will say that much. How I do this is I get a running start from here and I kind of, as you guys just saw turf do, you want to jump outward over here and that's how you get up to this part. This next part though, you just want to crouch under and head over to this area. Watch your head. You can bounce off stuff and drop down. But anyways, once you're here, you want to jump on this. can be kind of tricky, like right there, as you saw, I failed, but you can jump right back up. But let me get another go at this and BAM! Once you're on this, you then want to jump over to this. And by the way, I don't know who the world first is finding this glitch, so yeah, I can't really give someone credit. But once you're up here, this is the most tricky part. Actually, no, this isn't the trickiest part. I'll show you guys the trickiest part here in a second. Once you're up here, kind of want to start further back on this pole and then jump over like this and then just hug against this, as you saw, so you don't slide off. Once you're up here, it's pretty cool. This is a nice little spot, but this isn't the end of the glitch. Really, what's going on? This is not supposed to happen. This is what I suggest you guys to do. Just come over here because if you fall off, more than likely, for the majority of times you end up failing this, you'll spawn right back up here, which is a nice checkpoint. Anyways, what we're going to be doing is hopping on that right there. Actually, I'll just go over there. Why am I trying to wave at it? It's kind of hard to do in a social space. Can't. I don't have my pointing emote on, but you want to jump on this. As you can see, right above us is the invisible barrier. And what we want to do, this is the most difficult part about this glitch. We want to kind of get further back here. Oh gosh, not right there though. Get further back and then you want to have a running jump over and you'll start flying. You got to tap the A button or if you're on PlayStation, tap the X button. Oh no, I want to make sure turn back does not start. Wait a second for that to reset. I'm just gonna get down. Okay. Because we want all those seconds that we can for this glitch. We're gonna be aiming for that platform over there. I don't know if you can see it. Behind that uh, shield against the sandstone over there. I don't know how to explain it, but let's try this. Yep, I already knew that was gonna be a fail. Horrible start. If you jump like that, I'll tell you what. This gets pretty annoying, but as you saw, I didn't fly that long whatsoever, so that means I didn't have a good running start. Let's try this again. Starting further back. Start. Nope, that was a bad one again. And no, don't tell me I landed. All right, I better not spawn on that. I better. Okay, see, as you can see, though, this is a nice checkpoint to have because you don't have to do all those steps that I just showed you guys. Let me try one more attempt before I cut out all the rest of my fails. Here we go. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. No. No. I shouldn't have hit that. No. No. Dang it. Oh, that was too close. All right. So now in this attempt, I finally make it. I wasn't recording with my Elgato at the time because it was just wasting up memory. I just thought whenever I make it, I'll Xbox record it. But yeah, this took forever ever to actually do and the reason why is because you have to pretty much do this perfectly to get over here i mean as you guys can see the countdown timer will kill you if you don't do this just right i'm gonna tell you guys this now this might take some of you a very long time i'll be honest it did me i'm not saying all oh, you suck if you can't do this it's just a very time consuming spot to get to now i'm gonna go ahead and play when i finally got over here and started recording again with my elgato i finally made it you have no idea how long I was doing this, so I guess I'm gonna give you guys some pointers. I'm gonna go ahead and explore over here while I'm over here. Oh, looks like there's an invisible wall right here. Can't go any further, or can I? Can I jump over this, maybe? Holy guacamole. But yeah, I'm gonna give you guys a few extra pointers because I wasted a lot of time trying to do this. Let's see if I can go anywhere else besides just here. Nope. Guess that's it. 
you gotta admit though, still pretty cool. I mean, as far as I know, this is all you can really get to when you're over here. Just this place on top of this sandstone. But still, something pretty awesome to go try to do if you're bored in a lighthouse with some friends. This is definitely a challenge, I will say that much. You could probably blow some friends' minds too if you like get over here and then invite them into the game and be like, yo, look where I'm at. It's just crazy. Uh, Niyu's been in here with me, attempting it himself. He can say also it's pretty difficult. Oh wait, I think he just left. Oh, I guess he gave up. But uh, let's see if I can jump over to that. Since I made it over here, and you guys see that I'm over here, you guys now see it's possible. I'm gonna try to get over there. I'm probably gonna die. Oh god. Oh yeah. Goodbye. Okay. Now I'm gonna go ahead and give you guys. Oh what the. I spawned right back up here. Oh, I forgot. If you like kill yourself right before... Oh, what the... I guess you joined back. If you kill yourself, like if you fail a jump and then kill yourself immediately afterwards, you'll spawn back in that general area that you were at before you ended up killing yourself. Anyways, let me give you guys a few pointers real quick. Oh, whoops. I missed. Alright. Okay, now I'm back in the map. Let me go ahead and give you guys a few quick pointers on how to do this. I've been doing it with these guys, just having a bit of fun. A 300 pound fox actually joined us while I was in here. He recognized me and was like, hey, yo! And he came and joined. But uh, all you gotta do is jump over here. You can jump from right there, it is possible, but I prefer going over here. And what I do is, I click in the sprint button. As you saw, it is possible doing it that way. But I like to long jump this, like that. I feel like it's just easier for me. I mean, do whatever works with you. And then when you're at this part, you can bump your head on top of this. It's not really as seeable in the dark, but yeah, just make sure you jump toward this general area. And when you're here, this is where it's going to get a bit tricky. You're going to want to try to land on top of that, but if you fall off like I just did right there, all you got to do is quickly go kill yourself. I don't think this is quick enough. Maybe it is. And you will spawn right back up there. So if you had trouble getting up there, there are tricks to make it so you can spawn right back up around the area that you were at. See? Bada bing, bada boom. It's like a checkpoint in a way. It's pretty cool. But yeah, if you end up failing, just do that trick. Oh, yeah. And then you just want to kind of balance yourself here. And then once you're on this, watch your head on top of that right above us. So basically, jump a little outward toward over here. We're standing on nothing here. It's really strange. I guess the cable down below we're standing on. But anyways, from here, you want to jump up to this. And here I like to have a little bit of running room so I can jump over this because you will notice up here there's an invisible barrier. Oh dang it, that just messed me up. As you saw, it just pushed me right down. It isn't like you can just jump simply over that barrier that's blocking us there. You gotta have a little bit of a running start. So, oh, spawned here. Alright, that's fine. So when you get up there, let me go ahead and get back up there real quick. I like to, once again, have a bit of running room, so I start like right here, and then I jump to the side over and kind of just hug myself against that. And then I like to chill right here for a second, so my checkpoint's here. And then, yeah, start this super hard flying part, which how you fly, in case you guys don't know, you just, once again, tap A while you're in the air, or tap X if you're on PlayStation. But you're going to have to have a good running start to be able to uh, fly. Oh, whoops. I didn't know that. Oh, gosh. Looks like you could start flying back there. As you can see, we're at the invisible barrier. We can't really jump much higher. That's the reason why I like starting on top of this right here. And also, I'm using Blade Dancer with max agility. Well, yeah. So, I don't know if that's going to help you out any, but that's the subclass I'm using. Oh, goodness. Really? Really, I hate getting stuck in between that. And then when I'm on this, I like to try to look for the high point. As you can see, there's low points and high points on this platform. Like I sunk in there, so I don't want to really jump in there. But I peek up around here. So I kind of want to try to start my jump around that area. Don't want to have a turn back there, so let me go ahead and reset that. Of course, I'm probably going to fail this. This is a just a really difficult uh, spot to get to. Also keep in mind, you can use this flying technique in the lighthouse and go to other places, not just specifically over there. Maybe you can find yourself something else that hasn't really been found. And if you do, maybe comment in this video of another spot that you ended up getting to and try to describe 
where it was. Or you can just keep it to yourself, it's whatever. Or hey, maybe even make a video over it yourself. I mean, I don't know. As you can see here though, I went and flew over to this pillar. I mean, that is another area that you could go to, but like I said, there could be a lot more spots than just what I'm showing you in this video. It's just something else fun to go do in the lighthouse. But anyways, that's about wrapping up this video, everybody. Hopefully you found it enjoyable and it's something new to you. If you did, and if this is something new, consider leaving a like or maybe, hey, sharing this with some of your friends. You know, it's nice to see some new things on Destiny. So this might end up being entertaining to them if it's something new to them. Anyways, I'll shut up now. I'm out of here. Hopefully those extra pointers I gave you end up saving you guys time and you end up getting this down. I believe, in my opinion, the last part's the hardest part out of this glitch. Peace.